Hello everyone, welcome back to Sawyer Studios, and today I'm finally restarting Monday Mocks. I know, insane. <laughs> That's it. That's all I had for the intro. So let's just. <laughs> So I've cleared off my workspace a little bit better. Uh, this mock is going to be a smaller mock. I don't even think, to be completely honest, I don't think I'm using a base plate even. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, the Monday mock, if you forgot, because it has been literally forever, I'm sorry, is going to be from the uh, Cloak of Darkness, I think that's the Clone Wars episode, with the Saj Ventress, um, uh, Luminar and Dooley, and Ahsoka Tano. I don't want to use a base plate because I kind of just want to do this freeformed almost. Um, what I want to do, I haven't seen the, actually, you know what, let me just pull up the episode first. So as you can see in the episode, you have the control center, very similar to the Death Star. Obviously, it was designed right after the, the, after the Death Star scene in A New Hope. And then down the hall is all the way to the cells. And so what I want to do, I think, let's see, one, two, three, four. Uh, what? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it looks like it should be a six-sided room. But this angle looks like... Okay, what? what? Okay, this is weird. This is one side. We can agree on that. This is the other side. This is wall one and two. I guess you can sort of say this at a different angle. This would be wall three, then wall... Four? Because if... It looks, okay. Maybe there'll be a different angle. Anyway, I want to do this. So let me just first sort of draw this out. Um, I want the elevator shaft. How am I going to do this? There we go. I want the elevator shaft to be right here. So elevator made out of Lego. Um... And then we would have the control panels here. So one, uh, two, and then this one is the one that faces the elevator shaft. Four, five. And then this part is open for the doorway. See, it looks like the room should be shaped like a, maybe it's just a weird angle. I don't know. That's actually really weird. Um, this would uh, then come down like that these angles, etc., and it's hexagonal shaped stairwells. This is going to be fun to do, freaking hexagons, love that. Um, oh, it looks like they're, these are elevator doors too, now that I'm looking at it. Get some more elevator doors here. Um, you sort of have like these vertical light fixtures. Um, which I'm going to have to make. And then this also looks like a door, but like, not like a, it's not an elevator. It's like a hallway door. That's all, lots of hexagons. This is going to be a challenge. Lots of flipping hexagons. Okay. Um, and then we have the hall here is also a hexagon and I would assume that it's symmetrical so another light fixture another you know elevator here but then that would mean this wall is like one wall which doesn't seem right so I'm gonna play this see if we go any further and get another angle yeah, see, we even have, like, the security cams up there. Okay, so I keep going down the hall. All right, well, I can draw this. So 
we have a very long rectangular hollow. It'll be longer than that, but you get the gist. Long rec, uh, sorry, not rectangle, hexagonal hall. It sucks. At the very end, you have a step up onto this area with uh, the viceroy's um, sort of like, uh, yeah, um, door shaped like that with the interrogation room on the inside. Uh, let's see if we get anything else. Yeah, there's a lot of cells, so I'd probably repeat the cells like, you know, a couple times. Um, okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, do we get... We must get another angle. Oh, maybe here? No, okay. Um, huh. Yeah, we're just, uh, okay. Wait a minute. Do we get a scene? Okay, that's important. I'll need to have a hole up here where Saw's Ventures jumps through. Just, I'll remember what that is, hopefully. Let's see if it shows the other side of the room. No. Uh, no. A little bit further. I'll give you a merciful death. Okay, that's nice. Okay, wait. So that's the back elevator. Uh, I don't want to see you, Luminar. I'm sorry. Or you, Commander Gree, for that matter. Can you give me a different angle, please? Huh. Okay, yeah, that's... Okay, now there's there's nothing. Wait, she just went down the elevator. Oh, oh. And okay. I am thoroughly convinced that the creators of the Clone Wars didn't even like do a digital rendition of that side of the room, because every shot has avoided it. I think that's why it doesn't make sense. So in reality, this elevator should be at this angle. This wall will be here, so... You know what? We're going to make it a hexagon, because everything else in this room is a flipping hexagon, so it just makes sense. So that is going to be the diorama. And we will probably have a cell right here. And a cell on this side for symmetry. Um, and then, you know, we'll have the, uh, once again, the hexagonal door. That was an awful hexagon, I'm sorry. And uh, prison rooms over there. So that's the diagram. All right, everyone, what is up? Today is a new day. I was talking to my friend Michael. I was building. I'm planning on building the um, control room area for the prison, which is... Where's my piece of... Where'd that go? Is that right here? There it is. Um, this right here, this area, I want to make out of this. And the way I'm going to do that, however, is I'm going to build it straight. Uh, because in the actual Clomor scene, I noticed the grates do not go in like this. They're actually just full on just straight across, which it works. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tile all this off so that I can make it hexagonal, put some walls up here. So that the room itself can be hexagonal and maybe I can get away with like hiding these corners here with something or other. Uh, and then we'd have a doorway here and yeah. Uh, this is what I made for the center. It's an octagon. Uh, I know the center is a hexagon. It's just trying to do hexagons with Lego. I've learned. I, I, I kid you not. I tried for two hours straight 
trying to figure out a hexagon. Um, before I was on the call with Michael, I was on the call with my family and I was talking to my parents and my sister and her boyfriend. I was literally just sitting here fiddling around with all these different possibilities in here, trying to figure out how to make a freaking hexagon and none of them were working. So I just gave up and I'm gonna do an octagon. I don't think most people will notice and honestly, it will look good anyway. So that's the plan. I also just like this I, I as you can see i used a lot of chrome cones in there um the reason why i wanted to do that was because these as we all know these dark red pieces are very brittle and break easily so i knew if i were to put these on a base plate getting them off they'd snap so i wanted to put them on with cones so that when they when i have to pull them off they come off easier and we're using these tan base plates uh which i got for um Liberty on Ryloth mock. So this is what we're doing. We're gonna start slowly making this work. So um let's for some reason um but look what we've done grades all across and this is what the floor is going to look like now of course the wall is going to be diagonal here straight here diagonal across here diagonal across here and then this is the entrance diagonal across here where the hall is going to attach here using technic pins we're going to go across this way with that, hopefully get that hexagonal shape going for the hall. I'm thinking maybe, maybe I want to do a cross section of this mock. So not like wall, 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 but maybe just wall, 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 no wall here, and sort of just wall here across. Not quite sure what you all think of that, but I think I might actually like that. Um, have Do a cross-section mock. We'll think about it. I don't really have to make a decision now necessarily. I can always take these pieces off and edit it. Um, but this is what we're doing so far. And now I'm going to essentially attach this, which is going to lay on here like uh, such. There we are, nice. Uh, and then, oh, all this, all this, there we go, okay. Um, so this is now attached on, I, be I believe, yes. Uh, now we have to do that council thing over here with the, technically the five edges. Um, so we can have clones there. So I'm gonna start building those uh, so like those control panels now. All right, and here is the command center and I'm using a just a TIE fighter pilot to display it. But these are the uh, control panels that we have going on, which I really like how that turned out. And yeah, and I think that's perfect height, honestly, for a control panel person. So. I'm really liking this setup right here. I think I think this looks really good. Um, and we just have to essentially build the walls around this and continue on throughout here. It is getting late, everyone. So I think I honestly might call it there for tonight. One more quick thing I wanted to do. I wanted to show you what it looked like with the three Senate Commandos in it. And that's technically how it's going to be uh, when the mock is finished. Uh, actually, it might not be because I think I might be doing a different scene. Anyway, but I also wanted to show you another thing, uh, some of the minifigs. So A, we got the Clone Wars Newt Gunray that we'll be using. But they didn't make a Captain Commando person dude. So I decided to A, give him a custom DC blaster. Uh, and also, he's ha he has the face of this rebel pilot, A-1 pilot. He 
He has the hair, which I think is perfect, from the Clone Wars Palpatine. And he has the blue lapel from Captain Rex. And so that is how we are making him. And uh, we have this helmet. If I had more of these, I would actually try to solder out the black part. Because his helmet, you know, does, has, doesn't have the black visor. I don't have many. I don't have multiple of these. So... Uh, I'm not going to do that. And then we have Commander Gree, phase one, which I also need to find him some brown hair, buzz cut or whatnot. Maybe give him a different face. Uh, and I also gave him a custom DC rifle to use for this mock as well. So if we put um, this guy out, that's what we're looking at. But I like the progress that we made this week. Um, with limited time to work, I think we've made quite the progress. So, sending everyone off tonight for this Monday mock, this very late and ex highly anticipated and quite fra uh, frankly overdue Monday mock. So, thank you everyone for watching. Sorry, Studios, please like, comment, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on another Monday mock whenever that may come. Hopefully next week. It's going to be a busy week, everyone, so I'm not sure. But I'm going to try to work on this as much as I can, I promise. I'm also going to try to get uh, those two pick-a-brick cups um, completely organized and empty and full and everything like that. So, oh, yeah, this workstation is pretty messy, but I like how I like this start. I think this is looking good. So, uh, everyone, this is Sawyer Studios. I'll see you all in the next.